Hey y'all, I am the Creative Lady, aka Nakalicious TV. In today's video, a hair update. I shampooed my hair, braided and band my hair. I washed it loose. Okay, it did not come down. So, yay for probably yes. the Afro G Deep Moisture Shampoo that I mentioned in one of my last videos. I did use that. While my hair was wet, I went ahead and added an oil, which was the hemp seed oil to my hair. Because my hair went it. When I do the shampoo and when it dries, it needs something in it. So I have to put something in my hair. Also, once my hair was, you know, dry from the shampoo, I um, put something unorthodox in my hair. And I know, I know, I know, but I had waited a long time to do my retwist because, you know, life happens. And uh, my hair has just these cut loose things in it. So I put some leave-in conditioner in it. And it wasn't even the name brand. It was the generic Paul Mitchell B conditioner. I put just a little bit in there to kind of moisturize my crops. You know what I'm saying? Because my cut loose, they were just running wild. And they were just sticking together. And I'm like, look, I need something. And I know the whole operative of the game to lock the hair is to have it to where it's whatever. But I feel like... Locks are not necessarily crusty, dry hair. It's hair that's matted up that can still be moisturized, you know. So I put a little bit of that leave-in conditioner in there. It was on a whim. Wasn't planning to. But anyone who put that on there and my hair was like, thank you. So once my hair was ready, I uh, kept my water bottle on hand. And actually, it was just a little, little bit of rose water left over. And I just filled it on up with um, distilled water and made a nice little, I'm going to see that nice little mist, okay? Mmm, still smells nice and rosy, okay? Um, and then I was trying to figure out, okay, what am I going to put on my hair? First, I auditioned the BB Tropical Roots Firm Locking Gel. I like the way it smells. Um, it has a nice um, tropical Ooh. papaya, pineapple, all of them good smells. But I didn't use it guava. Yeah, it's got uh, pineapple and guava in it. Pineapple and guava. But I didn't go with that. So the reason I didn't because it has water and some other copolymers and some other stuff. And I'm like, I don't know if that's going to be good for my hair, you know. So I... I did not go with that. But what I went with was the Talia Wajid or Wahid Lock It Gel. I used this when I was first trying to lock my hair back in December. And this is an older container. I don't know if she still makes this size or not, child. This hair in here. But, oh, well, it's a hair product, okay? But, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like in there. It's like a beige light caramelly, pineapple-y color it has a nice scent to it so i went ahead and twisted retwisted my hair with this i tried to put a little oil on my hair but i realized that my either my hands or my hair did not like to be that slippery so i couldn't get a good grip on it when i was retwisting so i put this away but it does smell really really good so i may put this in my rotation and this is the bb tropical root stimulating growth oil and again it's got pineapple and guava in it as well and it has a nice scent to it um the ingredients it's supposed to have no petroleum no mineral oil no sulfates and no parabens that's supposed to be dye free so we'll see if uh the other ingredients are okay I will probably put this on my hair uh, just as a trial. But anywho, we'll see. So I did not, as you know, did not use my locking tool or any interlocking tool. Did not go with that. I just used my uh, retwist. I put on a couple episodes of uh, my favorite sitcoms, you know, Good Times. I watched about two hours of Good Times and just went to town on twisting. And I just retwisted my hair. Um, all of my locks are going this way. I guess the counterclockwise this way because when I was taking them down from the two-strand twist or the box braids, from the box braids, I'm sorry, 
I was, my hand was comfortable enough to go that way, you know? So it just kept the way I could position was easier to just do everything that way. I don't anticipate having to go to a stylist to do my hair. First of all, because we're still in the quarantine. And second of all, if it works out, hopefully I can just keep maintaining it myself. I had my little tools here. I have my little butterfly clips that I only use about four. And I had my little, you know, the little prongs. I used primarily the single prong clips. I had those. And then I just had one of these right here. One of these little plastic. Now I tried to use different techniques, but what I found that worked for me for my retwist, I could not film it because I was just trying to get it done. I sectioned my hair into fours, okay, and these little bands. I sectioned my hair into the four sections with these little rubber, scrunchy, stretchy bands. I put those on, sectioned my hair. I was trying to start in the back and put the clips on as I go, but you know, that wasn't, wasn't really working for me. So I had to go with what was working. I started in the front, y'all. And as I did my hair, I think I started with this side here. As I started, I clipped my hair to the side. And I used these clips to hold the hair. As I was twisting, and I would pull it over and clip it together. So before you knew it, I had like a pile of hair, like a patch of hair that was sectioned off with the clip, right? So that worked for me. And then I went around to the back and was able to just continue so we'll see how my retwist is going to work once i got my hair and like the first section once i got it done y'all i put a roller in it because it was just so much easier for me to take the roller and to just put my hair away okay so with that i could put the roller in i could put the hair clip in to keep it you know separated because it will pull it tight at the root because i just putting hair clips at mine, you know, to try to separate it. Like some people section off here and section off here with the clip. That wasn't working. I needed something to just separate them. Like you don't belong over there, okay? So that worked for me. And uh, I got it done in about, you know, two hours of just, you know, casually, not in a rush, not trying to film. And uh, I got it done. And my puppy roots were out of control and so i'm gonna show you my hair now i'm taking it down and here we are my fresh retwist y'all and i'm like okay i still got some parting space y'all let me get my mirror so i can see what y'all are seeing okay so yeah i was like oh uh, i got some parting space i was like girl it just felt like i had so much, you know, I won't say new, it was like new growth or slippage or something, but I still have freshness at the scalp now. And that was my main concern because I was just not having the time to sit down to do my hair, y'all. I'm like, ooh, it's going to have to cut this stuff off because life is happening right now and I'm not able to maintain my hair. But I know that some people go months you know without retwisting and even the people who are free forming they go you know long periods without maintaining their hair and i'm like okay so let me turn around y'all oh i'm loving it y'all retwisting this way just doing the uh retwists and then a little slight palm roll if i have to y'all it is working for me i think i like it I don't have to have perfectly groomed hair, but I do like that my scalp, because I had the good pattern, the good foundation from the box braids, everything happened for a reason, I suppose, that I, you know, got some good parting space. Now, if I ever want to wear my hair up, you know, I suppose I can have that, but I don't have to have perfect parts, I don't believe, but they still look good enough okay see look y'all oh i got it y'all i'm so proud of me i did combine one of them i don't even know where she is but she is combined because it had come she had come loose and so i just took her with her neighbor and just 
put her together and then kind of just, you know, made it work and just palm rolled it that way. I did not palm roll all of my hair. I did not. I just um, palm rolled the one that kind of felt like a lot of the braiding or the bunching, I'm sorry, a lot of the bunching to where it was like big. I, I know, I don't know. And I know I got frizziness and all of that, but that's why, like I said, I did not put, do a lot of palm rolling. I did not put a lot of product on my hair. I'm just gonna enjoy the journey. And if I have to retwist my hair earlier than expected, so be it. But at least I have groomed and maintained, you know, with a light retwist of my hair and just a little maintenance because I'm not having to, you know, detangle and all of that with my wash and go that I used to do with my loose nat natural hair. So I love it, y'all. Okay, so we are at, still at month two because this is, I started April 4th, April, May, June. June 4th, May, month two, month Three is chugging along really, really fast, y'all. So I am happy, and um, I hope that you all will subscribe so that you can keep up with my walk journey. Not a whole lot going on initially, like I told y'all, I was gonna do the castor oil uh, twist, but I kind of felt like, well, you know what? I don't want the castor oil to be so heavy over my whole head to where I'm attracting lint. So I said, well, let me just hold up on that. But I do like castor oil in my um you know, scalp oils and stuff like that. But anywho, that's it for this video, y'all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Smash that notification bell. Join me on that delicious TV and may your heart be filled with purple joy. Bye, y'all.